Hi, welcome. We are at this point in time working on LXQT, the one that has been built an hour ago. But um, that's not the topic. The topic is a question of um, a user on Telegram. And it's actually it's super simple, but again, sharing knowledge. That's all what Eclinx is about. And I did notice that this particular thing was um, documented for sure in some of uh, the videos, but let's make one just for that. Question is, is there a way to tell Arch Linux not to update a particular package? We have 1,121 packages and at some point in time, and the question is concerning the kernel, at some point in time you say, this is working for me, I want to keep this kernel. Sure, you don't need to update all the time, right? If drivers and, and so on, your reason to freeze the kernel, to say, I'm gonna stick with this one because this just works. I don't need the last one. I just need a kernel that works. Now it's not only for kernels, right? It's for any of the 1,121 packages that you have. What do you do? Well, first you need to know the name, okay? Next to, after the name, you go to etc. There's just one guy that's going to uh, check all the packages and that's Pacman, your package manager. And in here, Pacman won't upgrade listed in ignore packages and members of ignore group. Meaning you can actually actually tell the system whole groups like Mate, Mate Extra, Gnome, those names. You can say, don't want to update, just it's, it's working right now. Want to keep it like it is or just a package. And in this case, it's going to be called Linux. That is your Linux kernel, sudo pacman minus s Linux, downgrade Linux. So those are the words that you should remember. There's also a control team, sudo pacman minus s Linux, right? And then there's more. There's hardened, there's LTS, there is Zen. So you can, and, and LTS, don't forget that one. So if in trouble with a kernel, there are four variants of it and you can always downgrade. So there are hundreds of variants of them. So you can figure that out, uh, what's gonna work on your machine. But basically the question here was just, I wanna stick with this kernel. This is the solution. I wanna stick with the kernel. Whatever I do, of course, save it. And whatever I do, update up all, doesn't matter. It's gonna stick uh, to that particular kernel from now on. All right, have fun.